Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm gonna show you this at top of here. There's nothing special. This here I have a uh, DC motor. I have here a uh, PWM which is driving the motor. I have here the meter panel for the input. I'm gonna drive it around 50 and a half volts and something around 200 milliamps and uh, maybe 50 milliamps, something like that. Over here I have just a, um, yeah, normal generator you might say. Uh, let's begin with the rotor. In there I have a wooden rotor. It is a four pole rotor. I have in there uh, four pretty large ferrite uh, magnets. Uh, orientated north, south, north, south. Nothing special there. This piece of wood over here is because I was uh, the planning was for me to put on this side also three, uh, four coils but they decided not to on this side I have four coils these two over here I, uh, are high voltage coils this one I just bought in the store connect the wires and that's it this one has been uh, yeah wounded in a, you can might say exotic uh, configuration the other two are uh, low voltage coils. This one below here, it just from the store, bought it, used it. This one I will rewound it in another exotic fashion. Um, the two um, low voltage coils are going. Are here, uh, let me see all of them. Oh, yeah, they are in parallel over here, from here and here and full wave bridge rectifier going to this meter panel over here and on this side i have a three load sorry a three watt load one watt each and here i have a one watt load for the high voltage coils and the, uh, that's these two over here they are in parallel over here and over here and there's a wire coming over here. I'm gonna start it up. The RPM, yeah, don't know, but doesn't matter at this point. The only thing what matters is how uh, it performs and it acts. When I put the load on the system, it will slow down the drive side, but not that much. At this moment, I have a run at the yeah, 15 and a half volts. This is a 30 volt meter. This is a 3 amp scale meter. So it's running around, yeah, almost 16 volts at, let's say, yeah, 100 milliamps. That's the input. Now I'm going to put the DC load on it. You can hear it slowing down. I have now 13 volts, it is decreasing, give it some time to level out. And now around 160 milliamps, that's the output. Here are the three lights. The input is now 15.5 at, yeah, let's say 250 milliamps. So input is 15.5 at 250 milliamps. Oops, 15.5 at 250, yeah, 3.8 watts, and the output is now 12.9 at uh, 170 milliamps. It's 2.1, uh, almost 2.2 watts. So that is around uh, 3.8, yeah, around uh, 57 percent efficient not that bad the coils are uh, air core no cores and then so yeah once more input when it's loaded 15 and a half at 250 milliamps and output is 12.9 at 170 milliamps not bad gonna show you in the dark that's a loud, the light output. 
It's pretty good actually. Not bad at all. And here I have also the um, EC load. That one will also put a little bit of drag on the system. So now the system should be drawing more. Um, yeah, it is still around 15.5. And the amp meter, yeah, it has moved just a little bit. Let's say 275. Yeah, that's about it. One more time in the door. The lighting is not bad. So now I have total input of 15.5 at. 275 milliamps which is 13 sorry 4.26 watts input and the output is 12.6 at 160 I have 2 watts DC and this is AC yeah I don't know yeah maybe one quarter of a watt not much max half a watt so the conversion yeah it's around, yeah, what I said before, 57% uh, efficiency, which is not bad at all. Now, one more time in the dark. Yeah, it is giving pretty good light for uh, 4 watts input. Getting around, yeah, 2 watts, maybe 2.5 tops, including that. Uh, AC light over here. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Short video. Once more, the rotor in there is a four pole rotor. Pretty large magnets. Um, yeah, something like this. Around uh, almost as large as the uh, coils. 60 millimeter in diameter. The uh, Magnets are and uh, 20 millimeter in thickness, only four in there. North south, north south. All the calls are air core, so the performance is not bad. Around, yeah, 57 efficiency. Okie dokie. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, as always, thank you for watching.